<laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Rich has got a monster. <laughs> oh, take your time. Oh, that's a good fish. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. We are just outside Lockhart, Texas, on the set of a music video. Well, it's gonna be a music video after we film it today. We're actually out here at our buddy Rich's Deer Lease, which happens to have a couple of Primo Ponds on it. And we're gonna be filming uh, Neutron Paul's new song, Prank Baits. So we thought we would make this video official and fish with nothing but old school prank baits today. So I have got my arms full with some prank baits that we're gonna be throwing, including the Power Pack Frog, the Helicopter Lure, the Flying Lure, <laughs> back by popular demand, the Banjo Minnow, and a bait that I just got my hands on recently, the as seen on TV, Walking Worm. So, uh, Tom is over there screaming like a banshee. I think he's hooked up to something nice. So I'm gonna hurry up and get fishing. Stick around. Son, look Good at night. that. Right. Walking worm action. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. Should we name him? His name's Lunker? <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that beautiful boy. Doctor, it's a three pound baby boy. <laughs> All right, should I put him back in the water? Let's do it. Go for it, go for it. Oh geez. Be free. The walking worm, my friend. The walking worm. Woo! You All right. A yeah, oh, 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 lot oh, of action. Oh. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Once again, jacked finger. That's all right. You need help. Here. <laughs> hey, homie. So you hold him with one hand. I'll unhook him for you. That is. That is helpful. All right. It's a little guy. What was that about Dude, a one? Dude, two on the walking worm, man. One and a half pounder, maybe. That's a nice little fish. Yeah, he's sweet. He's fat. <laughs> he's robust, like me. We we both shop at the same sections of Dillard's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in you go. All right, I was not sure what lore I was gonna start with today, but old Tom uh, just bagged two nice fish on the walking worm, so uh, I ain't no dummy. I threw this thing on, man. Uh, this has been a tougher bait to find, to be honest with you. Um, I know that when I did the top 10 uh, as seen on gimmick lures of all time, a lot of the bass and buds were a little upset the old walking worm was not in the list. And the omission was strictly because I just didn't have any. But I finally found about four packs on the old eBay. I've got one rigged up. Let's go. Oh, and there are some nice fish in here. Well, there's one. There he is. Oh, yeah, you got him? Got one. Oh, -ho. Yeah. come on, buddy. Woohoo! <laughs> Walking worm. Come on, buddy. <laughs> if I can get him in, boys. Oh. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Man, um, yeah, Mr. Tom posted up on the, I think, primo corner of this place. Way underneath his tree, there's some shade and deeper water. Uh, I just threw that little walking worm in there and... Another nice little uh, one-two pounder, huh? Ain't too shabby. <laughs> oh, uh oh, Rich has got one. Hold on. Here, let me. Jumping. Here we 
we go. A little crawfish action. Oh yeah. A little one and a half pounder. Oh wait a minute. That's a flying lure fish. So wait a minute, dude, you snuck in the old flying lure on me. I didn't. <laughs> you brought it out of here. Let's do it. First cast, literally two shakes, and boom, the fish was on. Look at that. That has got to be uh, an ass seen on TV doubler, a walking worm, <laughs> followed by a flying lure fish. Man, these guys are uh, really healthy fish in here. Yeah, they are. They're beautiful fish. I'm off, back in the water. Must be. See you off. Mm. Ah, that was pretty cool. I actually thought Rich had one hooked up on the walking worm. Brandon, you all right, buddy? <laughs> we got the Guggen over there. Oh, I cow pad. Oh, I. Hey, hey, Tom. I I just joined you. I I just rebocked a fresh uh, cow pie. It is better than, well, no, it's not. A croc you can wash. My white Reebok will never be the same. <sighs> Man, son. Anyway, uh, this is a Guggen on the other bank who's uh, struggling with the old walking worm. So uh, we didn't bring any slaunch sauce for you or any uh, Guggen baits. I'm so, I'm so <laughs> anyway, that was pretty cool. So Rich and I literally had a doubler. I had one on the walking worm, and he had one on the flying lure. That is like a... An as seen on TV uh, extravaganza. That's pretty wild. You totally, well, yeah, so the way you fish that, I don't know if you ever fished a flying lure, but raise it with your rod tip, lower your rod tip, and it swims away from you. And then raise it, and then lower it. And, and, it, and so that's the way it works, actually, is as, it's, as you lower it, it's swimming away. Or just do the exact same thing you're doing when you just caught a nice fish. Whatever you're doing to catch the three-pounder, do that. I, yeah, forget <laughs> <laughs> Forget the Alex Langner technique. Just do that. <laughs> All on the board. Guggen got one. <laughs> <laughs> Little guy. Hey man, that's all right. <laughs> You're a nice fish. Yeah, so everyone who's tied on a walking worm today has caught a fish on it. Yeah, you saw it all coiled up too. Was... This is one of the most asked for lures on the old Retro Bassin channel that is really hard to find. And I found like four packs of them. And uh, yeah, that's it. Is it getting, are they hitting it on the paws like when you stop it or when you move it? Um, moving it. Just after a pause though. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, this little guy. <sighs> I like what you Texans call perches, and where I come from, that's a sunfish. Sunfish! Or a bluegill. <laughs> what a versatile bait this is. It catches bass, sunfish, and uh, trees. <laughs> What do you got going on there, Mr. Rich? This thing is just working magic again. They love it. This thing just flutters in the water perfectly. Whether you're a Guggen or a pro, the flying lure. The flying lure. That's is... a nice fish, man. They're all healthies. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the ride. Dude, I, I'm going to be asking you about this bait afterwards. <laughs> I've never used this. I love the backwards hook because it keeps you out of the weeds. And this is like just chock full of them. This is the number one as seen on TV fishing lure of all time. Really? Well, it's working. <laughs> and meanwhile, so Rich is catching a fish and uh, Tom has got himself into some other kind of trouble over here. So he stepped in a cow patty earlier, but that's not what's going on. So, so what happened, buddy? You know, I mean, it's really, it's a situation where I don't know what I'm doing. And, um, <laughs> you so, know, I write songs and stuff. I don't, this is. Uh, that is retro bassin. On the same day that you, you, 
You catch a four pounder, that happens. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, so the key with good backlash management, and, and I've learned this over years and thousands of backlashes, is you just can't jerk too hard. It's like a delicate thing. You gotta you gotta just sort of work it like it's I don't know, like taffy or something. You just really as long as you the minute you the you, know, you get frustrated and this happens nine times out of ten and I just jerk it hard, then you just toast and you've made like a knot. So Thanks, Dad. So I, I think our odds of getting this thing out are about, about 20%, but we'll say. 20%. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, <laughs> I didn't show you that there's another one. In... <laughs> there's another, I don't want to see that one. Don't it's we? a little farther down. We'll oh, get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a beaut. This is a beaut. Um, yeah, we'll get there. This is perch hangout over here. Retro guiding. <laughs> Retro guiding. <laughs> See, I think there's a reason most folks who come on the Retro Bass and Show out fish me. You just have to figure out why, you know? <laughs> Everyone else is... Rich hasn't stopped fishing. Brandon. Sure. He's thinking about starting to fish. <laughs> 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 is it just me or is it so much easier to make fun of him when he's wearing the Guggen shirt? It is nice. <laughs> I feel like it just lends itself to ribbing. Uh, we uh, just beat up this lake pretty good with the walking worm and the flying lure. Honestly, everybody that tied on a walking worm got a fish. So I will show it to you real quick. This is the thing. It looks almost like a like an eight inch leech, right? But when you stop it, that tail slowly coils together. And the reason is, here it is, check this out. It actually comes pre-coiled and actually molded in this shape. So that's the shape that it wants to get back to when you stop it. That is pretty wild. Uh, again, as I said, these things are really hard to come by. But I found a few of these packs, decided to rip open one for the cameras, and I'm glad I did. Definitely gonna have to do a more in-depth look at this bait. But before we leave, I do want to try to get a few more fish. I do see some fish cruising on the bank. I think they've just seen our particular baits one too many times. I do have some baits that are in the prank bait-ish category that I brought along, and that is my Plano Tackle Box full of old school Rebel Rednecks. Uh, we have fished this bait before on Retro Bass, and uh, these are made to work with the Dr. Lauren Hill Color Selector. And yeah, look, these things definitely have a little bit of a gimmick flair to them, even though they were not as seen on TV lures. So here is my kit of different lures. Did not bring the Color Selector with me, so we're going to have to go blind. But it is early springtime, and honestly, some of the most ferocious bites I've had with the history of fishing this bait have come at this time of year in little ponds like this. So we're gonna fish these on some super light, either belly weights or no weights, and see if we can catch another fish or two on a prank bait. Oh, 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 oh take your time. Oh my goodness. Oh, Rich has got a monster. Oh, take your time. Oh, that's a good fish. I just started swimming him higher, closer to the surface instead of letting him fall to the bottom. And he popped it. <gasps> ah, look at that mouth. What? Um, <laughs> Hold that thing up. Oh my goodness. Same fish? No. Nope. Oh, son, look at that. That is beautiful. Holy cow, Bass and Buds. Rich just got a absolute donkey on I'm gonna call that a prank bait. That's the Color Selector Rebel Redneck. Holy mackerel, look at that fish, dude. Oh, that thing is gorgeous. <laughs> Son. See you later, mama. Well, Rich, yeah. oh, Rich, welcome to Retro Bassin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here anytime. Oh God, yeah. oh my God, oh my God, I just had a four pounder swipe at this and not get it. 
Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I saw him. He ran out of the reeds. Dude, I don't think it is, man. <laughs> Got one anyway. <laughs> I don't know that was the monster, but it's a fish. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, buddy. Oh. <laughs> well, that ain't the big fish of the day, but uh, there is another one on yet another prank bait, as Tom would say. Uh, nice rebel redneck bass. Man, these guys have been kind of steady hitting all day. I'm surprised. They just have not, you know, they kind of go in a little lull, but this is not a huge pond and pretty steady action all day and some absolute monsters. They hit one of them, but that's a nice little fish. <laughs> Pound and a half, maybe two. Nice. It was it was same technique, moving fast on top. He jumped up and got it. <laughs> Come here, baby. Whoa, he really swallowed it too. Yeah, he did. He wanted that thing. He hit it fast. There she is, yet again. Another nice little fish. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we whipped on these fish enough we're actually gonna to get to the main reason why we came today, and that is to film the official prank bait video. Uh, Rich is setting up his drum set, uh, trying to dodge the cow pies as best he can. Uh, Tom is getting his guitar all tuned up. It's like the first time somebody set up a drum set in a retro bass and shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. See, now would be the prime time for me to actually start fishing. I was smart. Well, all in all, Bass and Buds, uh, that was a pretty uh, successful day on the bank. Um, we caught some really nice fish, probably the two nicest largemouth bass that we filmed on the old Retro Bass channel. Unfortunately, old Retro didn't have either of those at the end of his line. We also completed filming for the official video of Prank Baits, which is going to drop on this channel tomorrow. Until next time, Bass and Buds, keep the carpet side up, and definitely... Fish it old school. Out here throwing these prank baits in the lake. Is it a crawdaddy or a snake? Banjo, minnow, power pack frog, helicopter spinning, hung up on a log. Prank baits up for sale. Check out this worm.